in his neighborhood. They had no idea what he was up to, that he was working with the South African Germ Warfare Program. Larry Ford was messing around with chemical biological warfare. Larry was a wonderful fellow, mad as a hatter. He used to rock up in South Africa having flown in intercontinental flights with a trousers pocket full of goodies in sealed vials that he claimed were new and wonderful organisms and could do the most wonderful things on Earth. Larry Ford had mutated cholera, typhoid, anthrax, botulism, bubonic plague, and had also come up with germs that he called kaffir killing germs. Kaffir, as you may know, in Afrikaans is the equivalent of the N-word. So these were germs that were specifically engineered to kill only black people. In other words, an ethnic biological weapon. Had Project Coast really gone this far? From the beginning, this idea of can we find a way to control the size of the black population was considered one of the most important areas of research. It got even more important over time as the size of the black population and the seriousness of the uprisings increased. So there, that's one reason why they got into genetic modification, research into is there a way to have contraceptives uh, um, that could mm, somehow uh, basically sterilize blacks without them knowing it and kind of all kinds of what at the time or in hindsight seemed like pretty far out research. There was some talk about an ethnic weapon. Project Coast working on, there was called Black Bomb. That was great, yeah, that was the most fun I've had in my life. Um, the, that, that whole episode of the ethnic weapon was, was very well set out in court, in the court papers. What happened is we had the objective to synthesize a certain protein that was in sperm for contraceptive purposes. The objective was that if you could immunize a woman against sperm, then you would make her in, infertile. Uh, we were asked to do this by another country who had a population explosion problem as part of the exchange of technology. They were giving us other stuff. They asked, well, we haven't got the time or the place to do that. Will you guys do that? 